I saw this shoe on Farfetch and it was selling at 60% off. So I thought this is finally the chance for me to get the shoe that I've always lusted after. It is a mule and it comes in this gorgeous ox blood color that I absolutely love that would go with any type of outfit that I can dream of putting together. So I was super excited. Can you tell? I was really, really excited. I thought here's the chance for me to give this brand yet another chance. And I was unfortunately so, so disappointed with the result. What is going on, you guys? Welcome, welcome back to Leaning Into Lux. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kitty Metsu, and on this channel, I post content relating to all things fashion and lifestyle. Leaning into Lux, of course. So if that sounds like your type of vibe, then pull up a chair, subscribe to the channel, and become part of our growing Leaning into Lux family. So today's video is going to be a really brief one because although I promised in the last video that I was done doing all these rants, I'm going to do a very brief one and I'm going to keep it cute and short because there really is not that much to say except what is going on with these italian brands and their sizing when it comes to designer shoes you know i say it all the time on the channel that i'm not a big fan of designer heels like i don't buy a lot of designer shoes i'm more of a sneaker girl i will buy a pair of designer sneakers because they do the job okay i wear them throughout the day i'm comfortable i'm enjoying it my feet feel like you know i'm walking on little clouds i enjoy a good designer sneaker now when it comes to the heels it's a whole other story i have had such horrible experiences with them they are the most uncomfortable and i get it i know people you know they are beautiful we love them for how pretty they are they are gorgeous but I'm a comfort girl. I want a shoe that is going to be comfortable throughout the day. I want to enjoy it. I want to feel good wearing it. That is my biggest gripe with designer shoes because I feel like they are not made for comfort. They are not made to fit us beautifully and comfortably so that we can get full use and enjoyment out of them. So Farfetch is currently having its sale and it is a big one, okay? So when I saw that I have early access and the savings were so great, I jumped at getting this pair of shoes. These shoes actually were released, I think, around six, seven years ago now or something along those lines. And I always thought these shoes were gorgeous. I saw them the first time they were released and I wanted them. But I never could bring myself to buy them at the price that they were being sold at. So when I saw them being part of the Farfetch sale, I was like, oh my goodness, this is my chance. Let me go for it. Let me pull the trigger. Let me get these shoes. And once you see them, you will understand the reason why I went for these shoes. Because I'm a mule type of girl. If I'm wearing heels, 9 out of 10 times, it's either a sling bag or it's a mule. Those are my two favorite type of heels. So I saw these and I thought this is my chance to finally get my hands on them because they were going for 60% off on that Farfetch sale. The sales on Farfetch, oh my God, they get so good. Let me just show you the shoe, show you why I was excited. Once you see it, you will get my excitement. You will also kind of understand my disappointment because this shoe is one that you can wear both formal, casual. It really is that type of all-round shoe. I think that's typically what a mule does and that's why I love mules so much. So enough, let's just get into the shoe. This got delivered today actually <laughs> and I sort of had to pivot and decide to cover this because I am sending it back right away. It came today. I tried it on and it is completely off. So I've decided that I am sending it back to Farfetch, getting my money back. And it is a Giuseppe Zanotti shoe. I don't know, I, I like the brand, I really do. I think they make beautiful, beautiful shoes. But I think the sizing 
really just needs somebody needs to revisit it and see where the problem is so it comes in this black box and it has the giuseppe zanotti written in silver lettering in the back it will tell you made in italy by giuseppe zanotti and you have his signature down there as well inside you have a black dust bag Ooh black dust bag similar writing to the box you have your little card with information as a thank you card but it also just tells you about the materials that it's all leather goods and all that good stuff and here is the shoe Ta -da! it is this shoe here it is this gorgeous mule guys this is a piece of art okay it is just so so stunning i absolutely love look at these details on this shoe the heel is 110 millimeters it's a decent sized heel and it's this really i don't know if the color is picking up on camera but it is this ox blood red color it is really really gorgeous you know i see a shoe like this and i see myself being able to wear it casual formal it's really a diverse shoe it's a shoe that you can wear multiple ways and do different looks with it so when i saw it on sale i really just thought i have finally found that shoe that is going to bring me back to giuseppe and loving it and i'm going to be you know overwhelmed and happy with my decision to buy this shoe and not forgetting the fact that it was 60 percent off let's not forget that so when it comes to all my shoes typically i am a true uk four and a half and a european 37 and a half that is my shoe size across the board and in most brands that is what i wear no issues no complication whatsoever and when there is no half size i will typically then go one half a size up in order not to have any issues of being too small if i go a half size down so if there's no half a size available in a shoe and I can't get my 37 and a half or four and a half, I will then get a size five UK or a size 38. So I saw this and on the site, it was full sizes. This, it came, there was a 37, there was 38, there was 39, there was a 40. So I knew that if it is true to size, which on the site it said it was true to size, then I would then need to get a 38 since I knew that I actually need a 37 and a half for true to size for me. But because it said it was true to size and there were no half sizes, I decided to go up half a size and get a 38. So where, who's lying here? You know, what's going on? If at all the sizing was correct and it is true to size as they say, this actually should fit me very comfortably they should still they should actually in fact be room after me putting the shoe on and you can see for yourself just how difficult it is for me to put my foot into that shoe and how tight a squeeze it is it is very uncomfortable it is not an enjoyable fit and walking in them is almost near impossible really because for me i don't want a shoe that is too tight that i have to squeeze my foot in there and that i know that after half an hour an hour of walking in the shoe i am going to have issues and i'm going to have pain and it's just going to be an uncomfortable mess so what is going on with the sizing i don't know does anybody else have issues with these italian brands and their sizing i only ever have issues actually with italian brands when it comes to sizing every other shoe that i've tried i get them true to size and they always tend to work for me or if they state that 
they fit snug they get a bigger size i will size up and that recommendation will work but i'm disappointed because even on the site it states that the shoe is true to size so if it is true to size then what is going on here because i went half a size more than my normal size and this is so disappointing because i'm highly annoyed actually because i really really was looking forward to owning these shoes i was excited about them but the good thing is i'm able to return them and we can almost forget the whole experience and forget that it ever happened i really really wanted them i wanted to keep these i like them i <sighs> I have seen them on the site same price on the sale it is a 39 available so i don't know whether once i've returned these maybe i should consider getting the 39 i don't know whether i should perhaps do that or not what do you guys think is it a shoe that you think is worth me going back for it after this disappointing unboxing or what do you guys think should i just forget about it or should i give it one more chance should i get the size bigger than this one and hope for the best this time around yay or nay they're so pretty look at them <sighs> i am so disappointed because these are it's an old shoe okay these are a very old design by today's standards you know it's in today and it's in for half an hour and then something new comes along but i think these are beautiful i've always always thought they were stunning and i was finally happy to actually own a pair so that is where part of my big big disappointment is coming from so what do you guys think let me know do let me know in the comments what you think has anyone else had this issue when it comes to sizing especially with heels because i don't typically have this issue with sneakers and do give me your tips let me know what you guys do when it comes to you know issues when it comes to sizing and the like how do you typically decide on a size when it comes to designer heels because maybe i'm doing something wrong maybe there is something i'm not understanding about how their sizing works when it comes to shoes so let me know down in the comments make sure that you hit that like button please do subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and do leave your comments down below let's engage you guys follow me on my social media i am leaning into lux on instagram and on my personal page i am m underscore kitmets so make sure to follow me i interact and engage with everybody who reaches out on my dm happy weekend if you're seeing this today on friday and i will see you guys on the next one